a project that brought conservation and community upliftment together in the small town of Van Veeksdorp in the Little Karoo is reaping rewards. Jobs for Carbon was developed by the Goritz Cluster Biosphere Reserve in partnership with the Wildlife and Environmental Society of South Africa and Rhodes University. Its aim is to plant one million speck boom in poverty-stricken areas of the Little Karoo and create employment. Speck boom are succulents which offset harmful carbon emissions by storing carbon and releasing oxygen equivalent to that of tropical rainforests. From poverty to prosperity, celebrating the first Jobs for Carbon speck boom harvesting and planting season, those involved were honoured for their dedication and hard work. We are almost at 100,000 speck boom that have been put back, have been put in, back into the environment. Um, over this past year alone. One of the days uh, that, that they worked was uh, broke all records. 7,000 speckboom in one day planted into the terrain. An awareness program for children was also launched. It explains the speckboom's carbon storing and oxygen releasing powers, just as this project has breathed new life into the community. This is a great project. It is a big project and means a lot to us. We have money, we have food on the table, and the 60 of us have a job we can be proud of. Jobs for Carbon is funded with about 8 million rand from the European Union and nearly 3 million rand from the Department of Environmental Affairs. But more funding is needed to continue the project past August next year. We hope that by triggering the right persons, items, uh, companies, that we are able to increase what we're doing here into a larger scale to try to um, get more of all levels involved, whether it's government or private sector, into creating something that is as beneficial for employment as for the climate. We have developed people in this area and we don't want to see a situation where people are going to lay off and then wait for funding and then work again because, I mean, we have developed these people and they are dependent on this uh, project. It is hoped that with continuous funding, the project will not only be sustainable for this community, but also be rolled out to other communities in the region. Tanya Krause, SABC News. Van Wijkstorp in the Little Karoo.